The summer of 2022 will be remembered for its brutal heat. Temperatures soared across the globe, smashing records and claiming lives. From the American Southwest to Europe and Asia, the mercury climbed relentlessly, turning cities into furnaces. This is not an isolated incident, but a harbinger of a future defined by extreme heat events. Climate change is turning up the planet's thermostat, and the consequences are dire. We are entering a new era of extremes, one where heat waves are more frequent, intense, and deadly. The urgency to address this growing crisis cannot be overstated. As the planet warms, we are witnessing the intensification of extreme weather events, and heat waves are among the deadliest. They pose a significant threat to human health, ecosystems, and infrastructure, pushing the limits of our adaptability. Understanding the driving forces behind these heat waves is crucial to mitigating their impacts and safeguarding our future. From the relentless march of climate change to the cyclical wrath of El Nino and the unforgiving heat of concrete jungles, the factors fueling these extreme events are complex and interconnected. The consequences of inaction are catastrophic. Rising temperatures will exacerbate existing social inequalities, disproportionately affecting vulnerable populations least equipped to cope with extreme heat. Water scarcity, food insecurity and mass displacement will become increasingly common, leading to social unrest and global instability. The time to act is now. We must confront the root causes of this crisis and implement innovative solutions to adapt to a hotter world. Our future depends on it. What about you today? At the heart of this heat wave surge lies a stark reality climate change. Driven by the relentless burning of fossil fuels, we are trapping more heat in the Earth's atmosphere, leading to a steady rise in global temperatures. This warming trend amplifies the intensity and frequency of heat waves, turning what were once rare occurrences into the new normal. The science is unequivocal. Human activities are the primary driver of this unprecedented warming. The greenhouse gases we emit, particularly carbon dioxide, act as a blanket around the planet, trapping heat and warming the surface. As we continue to pump these gases into the atmosphere, we are effectively turning up the dial on the Earth's thermostat. The consequences are already being felt worldwide, with heat waves becoming more frequent, intense and longer lasting. This trend is projected to worsen significantly in the coming decades, posing a severe threat to human health, ecosystems and global stability. The impacts of climate change extend far beyond rising temperatures. As the planet warms, we can expect to see more extreme weather events, including hurricanes, droughts, floods and wildfires. These events will have devastating consequences for communities worldwide, leading to displacement, economic losses and social unrest. Addressing climate change is not just an environmental issue, it is a matter of social justice, economic security and global stability. We must act now to reduce our emissions and transition to a clean energy future. The fate of our planet depends on it. Adding fuel to the fire is El Niño, a climate pattern characterized by the warming of surface waters in the central and eastern Pacific Ocean. This periodic phenomenon, occurring every few years, has far-reaching consequences for global weather patterns, often exacerbating heat waves in certain regions. El Niño's influence on global temperatures is significant, typically leading to a temporary spike in global average temperatures. During an El Niño event, the altered ocean currents disrupt normal weather patterns, leading to shifts in precipitation and temperature. While some regions may experience increased rainfall, others, such as parts of Asia, Australia and the Americas, are more susceptible to prolonged droughts and heat waves. The combination of El Niño and climate change creates a dangerous cocktail, amplifying the intensity and frequency of extreme heat events. The impact of El Niño on human societies can be severe, particularly in developing countries. Droughts can cripple agricultural production, leading to food shortages and economic hardship. Water scarcity can exacerbate existing conflicts and trigger mass displacement. The health impacts of El Niño are also significant, with increased risks of heat stroke, respiratory illnesses and the spread of infectious diseases. 
Understanding and predicting El Nino events is crucial for mitigating their impacts and building resilience in vulnerable communities. Early warning systems, combined with effective disaster preparedness strategies, can help to save lives and livelihoods. While climate change and El Nino set the stage for extreme heat, urban environments often act as heat amplifiers, exacerbating the problem. The urban heat island effect, a phenomenon where cities experience significantly higher temperatures than surrounding rural areas, is a major contributor to the severity of heat waves in urban areas. This effect is driven by the abundance of concrete, asphalt and buildings, which absorb and retain heat, creating pockets of intense heat within cities. The lack of vegetation and green spaces in many urban areas further exacerbates the problem. Trees and plants help to cool the environment through evapotranspiration, a process where they release water vapor into the air, providing a natural cooling effect. The absence of this natural cooling mechanism in concrete-dominated cities contributes to the urban heat island effect. The consequences of the urban heat island effect are significant, particularly for vulnerable populations living in densely populated urban areas. Higher temperatures increase the risk of heat stroke, respiratory illnesses, and cardiovascular problems, putting a strain on healthcare systems. The elderly, young children, and those with pre-existing health conditions are particularly susceptible to heat-related illnesses. Addressing the urban heat island effect is crucial for improving the livability and resilience of cities in a warming world. Incorporating green spaces, promoting cool roofs, and reducing traffic congestion are essential steps towards mitigating the urban heat island effect and creating healthier, more sustainable cities. Section 5. A Scorched World. A Glimpse into the Recent Past. The scorching summer of 2022 provided a glimpse into a future defined by extreme heat. Record-breaking temperatures swept across the globe, from the American West to Europe and Asia, pushing infrastructure to its limits and claiming lives. Wildfires raged across drought-stricken landscapes, releasing even more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and fueling a vicious cycle of warming. In the United States, the Pacific Northwest, known for its temperate climate, experienced an unprecedented heat wave, with temperatures soaring to levels unheard of in recorded history. The heat dome, a meteorological phenomenon trapping heat over a large area, pushed temperatures into the triple digits, causing widespread power outages, infrastructure failures, and hundreds of deaths. Europe, too, faced the brunt of the heat wave, with countries like France, Spain, and Portugal experiencing record-breaking temperatures. Wildfires raged across the Mediterranean region, fueled by tinder-dry conditions, destroying homes, displacing communities, and releasing massive amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The heat wave had a devastating impact on human health, with thousands of heat-related deaths reported across Europe. The summer of 2022 served as a stark reminder of the urgent need to address the climate crisis and adapt to a hotter world. The impacts of extreme heat are already being felt worldwide, and the urgency to act has never been greater. Section 6. Nature's Cooling Embrace – Green Cities In the face of rising temperatures, cities around the world are turning to nature for solutions. Green cities, designed to incorporate nature into their very fabric, offer a powerful tool for combating the urban heat island effect and creating more livable urban environments. By increasing green spaces, planting trees and integrating green infrastructure, cities can tap into nature's cooling power. Trees in particular play a crucial role in mitigating the urban heat island effect. Through evapotranspiration, they release water vapor into the air, providing a natural cooling effect. Trees also provide shade, reducing the amount of heat absorbed by surfaces and creating cooler microclimates. Increasing the urban tree canopy, especially in densely populated areas, can significantly reduce temperatures and improve thermal comfort. Green roofs, another innovative solution, involve covering rooftops with vegetation, providing a layer of insulation that reduces heat absorption and lowers energy consumption for cooling. 
Green roofs also absorb rainwater, reducing stormwater runoff and mitigating the risk of urban flooding. Vertical gardens, green walls and urban farms are other examples of green infrastructure that can help to create cooler, more sustainable cities. Section 7. Reflecting the sun's wrath. White roofs. Another effective strategy for combating urban heat involves reflecting sunlight away from buildings and surfaces. White roofs, as the name suggests, involve painting rooftops white or using light-colored roofing materials to reflect more sunlight and reduce heat absorption. This simple yet effective solution can significantly lower rooftop temperatures, reducing the amount of heat transferred into buildings and decreasing the demand for air conditioning. The benefits of white roofs extend beyond individual buildings. By reflecting more sunlight back into the atmosphere, white roofs can help to reduce the urban heat island effect, lowering temperatures in surrounding areas. This can lead to a cascade of positive impacts, including reduced energy consumption, improved air quality, and enhanced thermal comfort for residents. Several cities worldwide are already implementing white roof programs, recognizing their potential for mitigating urban heat and reducing energy consumption. Los Angeles, for example, has mandated cool roofs for all new buildings, while New York City has launched a program to coat rooftops with reflective paint. These initiatives highlight the growing recognition of white roofs as a cost-effective and scalable solution for combating urban heat and building more resilient cities. The urgency of the heat crisis demands a global response, with cities at the forefront of adaptation and mitigation efforts. From Tokyo to Singapore, Medellin to Paris, cities around the world are implementing innovative solutions to combat the urban heat island effect and create more resilient urban environments. These pioneering cities serve as models for others, demonstrating the feasibility and effectiveness of urban heat mitigation strategies. Paris, for example, has embarked on an ambitious plan to transform the city into a cooler, greener metropolis. The city has implemented a range of measures, including planting thousands of trees, creating new parks and green spaces, and installing cool pavements that reflect sunlight. Paris has also launched a program to encourage green roofs and walls, offering incentives for building owners to adopt these sustainable solutions. Singapore, another city at the forefront of urban heat mitigation, has implemented a comprehensive strategy that includes green buildings, vertical greenery, and district cooling systems. The city's City in a Garden vision aims to transform Singapore into a lush, green oasis, mitigating the urban heat island effect and improving the quality of life for its residents. These examples highlight the potential of cities to lead the way in adapting to a hotter world and creating more sustainable and livable urban environments. Addressing the heat crisis requires a two-pronged approach, adaptation and mitigation. Adaptation involves adjusting to the current and future impacts of climate change, while mitigation focuses on reducing greenhouse gas emissions to limit the severity of future warming. Both approaches are essential for building resilience and ensuring a livable planet for future generations. Adaptation measures are crucial for coping with the unavoidable impacts of climate change, such as rising temperatures and more frequent heat waves. This includes implementing early warning systems for heat waves, improving healthcare infrastructure to cope with heat-related illnesses, and developing heat action plans to protect vulnerable populations. Cities can also adapt by incorporating green infrastructure, promoting cool roofs and reducing the urban heat island effect. Mitigation efforts focus on addressing the root cause of the problem, greenhouse gas emissions. This involves transitioning away from fossil fuels and towards clean, renewable energy sources such as solar, wind and geothermal. Improving energy efficiency, reducing deforestation and promoting sustainable transportation are also crucial mitigation strategies. By reducing our carbon footprint, we can limit the severity of future warming and mitigate the worst impacts of climate change. Policy changes are essential for driving the systemic changes needed to combat the heat crisis. Governments at all levels must prioritize climate action, 
implementing policies that encourage renewable energy adoption, promote energy efficiency, and discourage the use of fossil fuels. Carbon pricing mechanisms, such as carbon taxes or cap-and-trade systems, can incentivize businesses to reduce their emissions and invest in cleaner technologies. Investing in public transportation, cycling infrastructure, and electric vehicle charging networks can help to reduce transportation-related emissions, a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Building codes and urban planning regulations can be updated to promote green building practices, cool roofs, and the integration of green spaces within cities. International cooperation is also crucial for addressing the global challenge of climate change. The Paris Agreement, adopted by nearly 200 countries, provides a framework for global climate action. But more ambitious commitments are needed to limit warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Developed countries have a responsibility to support developing nations in their efforts to transition to low-carbon economies and build resilience to the impacts of climate change. The heat is on, literally and figuratively. The climate crisis is no longer a distant threat, but a present reality, and extreme heat is one of its most pressing consequences. The urgency to act has never been greater. We have the knowledge, the tools, and the resources to address this crisis. But it requires a collective effort from individuals, communities, businesses, and governments worldwide. Each of us has a role to play in turning the tide on heat. We can reduce our carbon footprint by making conscious choices about our energy consumption, transportation habits, and consumption patterns. We can support businesses and organizations committed to sustainability and advocate for policy changes that promote climate action. The future is not yet written. We have the power to choose a different path, one where we mitigate the worst impacts of climate change and create a more sustainable and equitable future for all. The time to act is now, while we still have the chance to make a difference. Let us choose a future where our planet thrives, not merely survives.